It's gonna have to be a lifestyle swing. Hello, hello, hello. I seem to be big into the videos at the moment, so we've got another one. Um, and we're gonna talk about bag organization. I love this concept I'm gonna be sharing you with you today. It's been an absolute game changer. I've been doing it for years, and I finally got some new bag dividers. <laughs> So I thought it was a perfect time to do a new video about this because we've talked about this before in different ways in different videos that you may have seen me reference this but this is an absolute game changer for keeping your bags organised. The majority of us will move between at least a number of different bags um, whether it be within a day or within a week. I have a rule where we empty bags when we come home <laughs> so bags always have to be emptied out um, but we when I say emptied out, they have to be emptied out of the things that aren't going to stay in them. So um, these pouches that I'm going to talk about, they go somewhere and I will unpack like if it's my gym bag. As soon as I get home, it has to be unpacked with the sweaty stuff, of the wet towels and stuff like that. Because otherwise I just forget to do it. And if I have that benchmark, if I come in and my bag gets unpacked straight away, then I remember to do it. Anything beyond that, even if it's like, oh, I'll just grab a cup of coffee or I'll go to the loo. <laughs> It always seems to derail the system, so that I find really, really important. And then I'm looking down, and straight away I've got a bag down here that I haven't, <laughs> haven't unpacked that I've just got back and, and done. Okay, now it's unpacked. There's only two things in it. Pull the car off. I've got the water bottle out. Um, so that my bag then. So this is the one that I've just come home with. This is then ready to go back into the wardrobe where it lives. Not all my bags live in the wardrobe, but that one does. Um, my, that's my semi-smart work bag, my smart work bag, my general bag, and my clutches all live in the wardrobe. Um, and then like my gym bag is too big, so it lives somewhere else. Um, I have, I guess what I'd call my mum life bag, or like a beach bag. I use it for lots of anything that's doesn't quite need a full like rucksack or anything and then I have a couple of rucksacks as well so probably have more bags than clothes I like having the right bag for the right person purpose um I don't like it's when it's like it's on your shoulder but you wish you had a rucksack I don't like to be annoying so um I do move between different bags all the time um but whichever bag you are in there's likely to be some essentials that you're always going to want to have with you and it can actually become a bit more of a pain to have duplicates. So I did that for a while where I'd have a duplicate set, I'd have a set in my gym bag and I'd have a set in my work bag and then I'd have a set in my casual bag and then one would run out and you take it from there and it was just all a pain. Um, so a few years ago I started using these bad boys. Um, so clear little zip up bags, you can get them from obviously you can get them from Amazon like that's oh, that's always going to be a given um and I'll make sure that there are some in the they're probably already saw in there there's an on the Amazon link for um my favorite it's in my it's in my Instagram bio um as well as I share it other places but I can't remember where off the top of my head um but it's my basically my favorite organizational products um that are on Amazon um I think if you go and search happy lifestyle on Amazon it might bring it up um my internet's doing rubbish so I won't load right now um but I'm pretty sure they're on there and I'll go and make sure there are by the time this goes out anyway but um boots in the UK I know do them and they come in sets quite often so you'll get like one inside one um so at the moment I have two but my new system I'm going to be updating it and I'm going to go and have three um and this is how I work mine so this is my, my regular everyday normal life one we'll go through what's in it because I need to clear out but this is my everyday life one this is then my longer trip out one which is very redundant now um I don't use it anywhere near as much um and there's definitely nowhere near there's a lot more stuff in here that needs to be anymore because um like we keep coloring pencils in the car for my daughter so I don't really need to have emergency coloring pencils um there's other things that she will do now um or she can entertain herself she'll read a book um that it's I just don't need to have emergency colouring supplies in that bag anymore and things like that so those are the two I've got and what I've gone is slightly smaller this one's about the same size I think yeah pretty much the same size because that's the one I use a lot and um, I also didn't I really didn't want plastic but I wanted to be able to see through 
and you can just about just about see through these I hold it up as a single there you can just about see through so I can see what's in it and I know what's there um so that one's the same size that's a little bit smaller so I don't need so much and then this dinky one is actually going to become my work one um it's not a huge amount I need to have in there um business cards um I have a speaker spray um it's running out and I can't seem to get any more of it which is really sad They've, I don't know if the company's gone under or what I think there's maybe some options in America but um I'm sure there's other speaker ones speaker sprays but I just loved this one should have got the second pot when I found it it's always one of those you buy two pots you never need the second one you buy one you always wish you bought two um, so that's going to be my little work my little work pouch um in there and it's also so it's big enough that I could fit my card reader in there if I need to take my card reader with me too and um, that has its own little drawstring bag and it lives in my office desk but if I ever needed to just be able to take my card reader with me that can go in there and that's basically going to be business cards in fact I can do that now and it's done it's done and it will fit i've checked it will fit my work my work phone is massive but it will fit just about my work phone in it as well um but that's staying out because that won't live in there um but it just means that if i'm packing up my bag i can know that i reach my bag and grab the smaller one that i know that that's going to have my work phone in it and you could with this one they've got quite good key things you could put colored ribbon on them it's rare that i'm going to be taking all three and um, so for me it's not really a problem i'm um, but if I go for a long period of time or I go, maybe if I go for a, few, a conference that's a few days long or something, I might put coloured ribbon on them so I can see quicker when I look into my bag which one is which. And the idea is that you take this out of your bag when you get home and then you pick it up when you're going out again and put it into your next bag so that you don't have to have those duplicates. And so we will start with my standard one. This is the old one. I wouldn't be replacing this but there's a big hole in the bottom and I've repaired the hole a couple of times and it just hasn't worked. Um, so it's not. It's done. It's done its time. It's served its purpose. It's all gone. It's all over. So that's that. It's a goner. A I probably keep I might tape it up that is the thing I don't want to tape it up and then it look a bit scru it looked too scruffy really because um I need to be able to take it out at events and at work things and it just yeah it gone it's gone past its prime and look how much smarter this one looks so um I will probably tape it up and use it for something because I don't tend to throw anything away ever <laughs> no, no I'm joking um there will be a use for it so I have a, a stash of bags and I have a stash of small boxes so I'll take it up and it will go in there um but repairing it neatly I tried with the glue gun and stuff and it yeah, just didn't work um so we have these nice new ones so what goes in here? Right, this is what we've had in here so far. At the moment we've got this nail file. I would like to keep a nail file in here, but this one is really gross <laughs> at this point. It's really gross. Um, and I think I had it in there at a time when I was trying to not have my nails done, but um, because I'm autistic and I, I pick that's one of my strims particularly when I'm out and about or nervous or anxious I will pick up my nails and not register it everyone's like I'll just stop picking nails and I was like I, I, I can't I can't um I've decided that that's not something I want to embark upon um if I have um gels on them I don't pick at them because they're smooth but I can actually just run my fingers along and I find that very smoothing soothing soothing I tried to have glitter at Christmas and it was lumpy and I picked it and it was worse than not having anything on. Um, so I don't think, one, this nail file has to go because it's gross. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to keep a nail file in here anymore. So that's a goner in the bin. Uh, lip balm, something I used to keep in here quite a lot. Um, we are going into lip balm season. But what I will probably do is take this out for the summer but keep it in for the winter. Um, because I used to keep one in my car and I don't do that anymore. So it would be quite handy to have one there. Or I might decide to keep one in the car. Ooh. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to keep it in the car. 
I'm gonna keep one in the car. I keep very little in my car. I keep some tissues and a cloth. That is it. Nothing else. Um, it's because someone once said to me that if you just leave your car unlocked with nothing worth taking, they can open the door, they can look, see there's nothing worth taking, you shut your door and leave. Whereas if um, it's locked, they might think something worth taking, smash the window to have a rubbish around, and um, then you've got to replace the window. <laughs> and that stuck with me. Um, I have my sunflower lanyard um, because I officially count as being disabled, but um, it's got the little cards on and uh, give me space because space is a big thing for me. Um, I don't always wear it, but um, if I'm feeling particularly anxious in an environment, I find it quite helpful to put on. So I always have one of those with me. I have a token, trolley token. Um, I find if I just put this in there, I will lose it. So this is quite handy. This was actually from when we um, rented this house from our estate agent. Um, so yeah, quite handy. Don't actually have it attached to anything, but um, it's quite nice that it's in a bigger thing so I don't lose it. Um, would it really be a handbag without some sort of hand sanitizer? Um, this bottle's a little gross looking, I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like I'd like to have <laughs> like a nicer bottle. What have we got in this one? What's in? That's face spray. This one's got that bottle in it that looks a little bit nicer. I hate labels on things. I just, I don't need a label on it. Let's see how the label comes up, that's fine. That's a nice noise, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That looks a lot cleaner, neater. I know what it is. Hand gel, that's fine. The other one can go in the other bag. Probably doesn't even need to have one in the other bag either. All right, that's fine. Stop unpacking the other one, Jess. Uh, tissues, new tissues. This little uh, fabric thing was my mum's. I can't decide whether I like having it with me to remind me of her or not. On complicated issues with my mum. She passed away in 2015 um, and uh, I found it recently. Um, so I've got it at the moment anyway. Um, I also think it's quite good when I run next run out. I've got quite a few packets. I bought a bulk pack of tissues a long time ago which I wouldn't do now. Now I'd just tear up some toilet roll and stick it in there, which makes the little bag thing quite useful. <laughs> so then it will come into its own. So I keep that in there. Always good to have some tissues. Um, I seem to have some loose cash in here at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why. Because um, I don't tend to, I don't tend to do that. Um, there's nothing else in my wallet that needs to come out, is there? Oh, there's a receipt. Might as well, while I'm doing this, make sure I'm clearing out my wallet. Um, so I know my wallet can fit in there and it's not actually stored in there, but I like to make sure that I would recommend that you have a pouch that your wallet can fit in. Um, I find it particularly useful to be able to shove it in there and then be able to grab this, but um, I do just have my wallet in a, it has a little home where these live, where it goes. Um, but I don't store it in there, but I want it to be able to fit in there. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, oh, lash brush. I, I'd love to say that I brush my lashes when I'm out and about, but I just don't. This is kind of a ideal self item. Um, probably if I ever go back to having my eyelash extensions full time, then keeping one in there would make sense. It's probably where the habit comes from of having one in there. Uh, but I will not be having my eyelash extensions done until I'm having them done as a, a, I guess, a birthday treat to myself, but for April. I mean, my birthday present to myself um, is to get my eyelashes done in April because I have a big speaking event in April. Um, it's like a two day, so it's just nice to look fully made up the whole time without having to bother having your eyelashes done. So I'm looking forward to that. And also I get to go and see Joanna when I get those done. So that makes me happy. And um, so that can go somewhere else. Uh, this is a definite yes for me. This is a bag, reusable bag that folds in on itself. Super, super handy. I tend to, if I'm going shopping, take loads of other ones, but it's good if you've forgotten to get something or whatever, a last minute drop in, or you've run out of bags to always have a spare emergency bag. And um, that's going in there. And then, oh, see, again, probably heading towards the time of not needing to carry a mask with you at all times. However, the time of recording this, 
we are having a rise in numbers of just general illnesses and ailments and I do have a little bit of a cough um so I'm gonna keep this in there for the moment but that's obviously a very personal thing I just don't I don't want to give anyone my cough if I have to go in anywhere if I'm having a coughing day or whatever so as it's cold and flu season I will I will keep one of those in and pretty I do like these ones um so I will keep that one in there um so that is everything that I keep in here as a regular thing um what you want to be aware of is making sure that it's a size that not only keeps those things in but if there's any additionals that you are very likely to take out so for me that would be wallet that would be headphones and that would be my phone so this is where i'm this is where it all goes wrong i did check this <laughs> previously that everything will just about fit so what I can do is just take this, just take this. If it's if I'm predominantly going to be staying in the car and then maybe walking into the shop, I can take this. So I might grab my shopping bags from my food shop and I would just grab this because I don't need to take a whole handbag to do the supermarket. I need some empty shopping bags and I need everything that's in this. And then I would just pop this into my empty shopping bags or it will sit on the car seat next to me. And then when I go in the shop, it'll pop in, in my shopping bag. Um, and it is so much easier. Um, to not have a massive bag to rummage around in so um, i'm going to take those bits out now because they don't always live in there but i want to be able to take them in there so that's like a bonus tip to be thinking about don't just have a pouch of your regular items that need to stay together think about if there's any additional ones that you are likely to want to be able to throw in there as required and for me yeah that's the those three bits and pieces um they go in there so that's that one doesn't it look neat smart tidy wonderful Oh, this one's got a lot more in it that doesn't need to be in it anymore. So, that I need to go is a bank statement I need to go to the bank for because um, it was back when, that's showing my details, back when Barclays did that offer. I don't know if they still do it or if I just still get it where they put a picture on there. And the problem is the picture is really, really old and it's from when I was married. <laughs> So it's got me and my ex-husband in our wedding attire and my granny. So I wish it was just my granny because she's not with us anymore and it's a lovely picture of her. Um, if I could do that. But I can't. They've sent me. And, and every time I request a new card, they seem to send it with a picture on again. And I'm like, I don't want the picture. That's the whole point of requesting a new card. Um, it also has the wrong surname on it. So I need to go into the branch to make those amendments because apparently doing it online or over the phone is not working. Um, and somehow it's ended up in here as opposed to getting done. So I've got to go into where the bank is for something else 